In the professional landscape industry, the most common how much water should be applied to a newly planted tree guideline is 10 gallons for inch trunk diameter or 20 gallons for a two inch. A two inch caliper tree may be the most common size for new plantings. Thus, the common water bags hold and release 20 gallons of water. We see what seems like millions of 20 gallon water bags in use all across the country. That seems to be an excessive amount of water, whether applied by a water bag or other means. We all agree that landscape water conservation needs to be taken seriously, which leads to the question of how much water can a two inch caliper tree actually absorb even in the worst conditions. In researching this question online and speaking directly with top industry professionals, we learned that no one is aware of any test that measured the amount of water a tree actually absorbed. Nor was anyone certain of exactly where the 10 gallons per inch caliper guideline originated from. So we wrote some protocols and put these questions to the test. All industry professionals agreed that only the hair-like feeder roots of trees absorb the water, oxygen, and nutrients, and that they are always located within the top 4 to 12 inches of soil and no deeper. So we built the perfect size target watering zone box. To ensure the worst case results would be known, a willow tree, known to be among the higher water absorbing species, was selected. The root mass was not watered for a few days prior to the test. We filled the container with water to the top of the root mass with each inch of water measuring just over a gallon. The test began in the morning and continued throughout the day in windy, 87 degree Fahrenheit conditions. Hours after the tree stopped taking up water, we measured the water absorbed to be three gallons. Next, to replicate typical landscape planting conditions, we packed and compressed urban soil covered with a few inches of topsoil and mulch into the perfectly sized watering zone. Knowing that over irrigating can kill a tree just as fast as under irrigating, and that water that travels beyond or deeper than a near perfect watering zone is just wasted, we wanted to see how slow releasing 20 gallons of water saturates and travels. A second test using only five gallons of slow release water was also conducted using a modified watering bag with target watering tubes that would start the water drip below the top cover of mulch and three inches deep in the soil with the intent of concentrating the full amount of water release directly into the feeder root zone. Within hours, it became obvious that 20 gallons would be beyond excessive, and the test was stopped after slowly releasing approximately 12 gallons. Here we see the 20 gallon stopped at approximately 12 gallon test. This is the result we would have envisioned if a gallon of water was poured into a small house planter. It makes no sense. Of course, had the water not been contained, much of it would have sunk much deeper and far beyond the box, which is nothing more than wasted water. Here we see the five gallon test. The five gallons was chosen knowing that a newly planted tree will absorb two to three gallons and the remaining few gallons would travel just outside of the root mass to encourage the roots to grow out and quickly become established in the surrounding soil. The result is near perfect. The root mass and adjacent soil is wet but not saturated. Thus little to no water would have sunk deeper or beyond the target watering zone. Subsurface watering ensured that no water was lost to mulch absorption or surface evaporation. This is an illustration of the results of over surface watering versus subsurface target watering. This same study protocol was repeated off site on stripped compacted soil and in parking lot islands. The findings were consistent. The results of using subsurface target watering is near perfect and a new watering bag will soon be sold through landscape product distributors and in retail nurseries nationwide. When using watering bags without subsurface tubes it is recommended that the water bag fill be reduced significantly and that commercially available target watering tubes be installed in locations just below the water bag drip holes.